What's up? How are you guys today? I'm excited because I've been waiting almost a year for this, although I've kind of kept it secret. The new vitamin and mineral line for organ supplements is here. We also have some bovine powders, but the main feature is the frozen glandulars on frankiesfreerangemeat.com. This is just about everything else. So we used to have the liquids, which, you know, in some cases they didn't taste good. They weren't that easy to have every day conveniently. So I decided to ultimately get capsules. And the difference between these supplements and anything else you're going to get online is primarily the natural dosage. So I looked at the amount of the vitamin or mineral that occurred in food, whether it be a steak or a mushroom, and I correspondingly put that in each of these. You know, you'll notice when you compare the dosage that these other supplements are like 10 to 100 times mine, which is just really bad for the body. It's kind of damaging to the liver and just not something you should be taking consistently. And then we also have some of the products that we have always been offering. We have the magnesium oil, the vitamin K2, vitamin D3, antioxidant support, as well as iodine. These are best as liquid for their absorption as well as you know convenience, especially with the iodine. So I'm just gonna kinda uh, give you guys a closer look at these and uh, we'll talk about each one a little bit. Now I barely fit each of these on the table because there's so many individual B vitamins. Uh, but we'll start here on the left with the magnesium oil. Uh, you guys are pretty familiar with this. I've done pretty extensive videos on magnesium. This is just another way to kind of get some extra, absorb it through the skin. We also have magnesium oil with MSM for extra antioxidant activities. Vitamin K2, we've spoken a lot about, very important for absorbing magnesium. Uh, both this and the vitamin D are in emu oil. And you really shouldn't be taking vitamin D unless you're super deficient. You're much better off getting some sun. So this is like kind of a minimal thing. The antioxidant support is just all of the body's antioxidants that it has to make itself. So we have N-acetylcysteine, glutathione, coenzyme Q10, as well as vitamin C. Very, very potent, uh, kind of to be used sparingly. And then we have the iodine that I use a lot for like antiseptic stuff, rinsing my mouth, all that. Um, also very important for thyroid function. The macronutrient enzymes, which we also have in powder at a slight discount, is just the enzymes that the liver and pancreas produce. So we have the carbohydrate digesting enzymes, the protein digesting enzymes, as well as the fat digesting enzymes. This is the purest enzyme supplement digestive thing on the market, bar none. All that stuff with bromelain, papain, all the BS enzymes. This is legit. This is the best enzyme supplement on the market, and it's affordable. This should be you know, over $100 from anyone else. And tying in with the digestive stuff, we also have activated charcoal that I kind of take at night uh, if my liver is excreting bile just to sleep a little better. And there's also, of course, guys, the masticum available on organsupplements.com as well in that digestive section. So these two are completely new. We've had the masticum for a little while. Magnesium, you know, as we said, guys, we used to have the liquids, but now we have the magnesium glycinate in capsule form. This is 100 milligrams. So almost all other supplements are 200 or above. And yeah, you might have to take four or five of these, but for some people that are really sensitive to magnesium at the start, like I was, 100 milligrams is a nice, safe, low dosage. All of the capsules are hypoallergenic cellulose. So, you know, I had a kind of difficult time trying to decide between the gelatin or the hypoallergenic cellulose, but it was kind of like, okay, do you really want the agrochemical waste gelatin or do you want that either way? What's more important is the content of the capsule. So vitamin C is something new. We have ascorbic acid at 500 milligrams. I usually take this and the magnesium almost every single morning. And it, it's a pretty good dose. You know, you could go a little lower if you want to, but this is kind of the effective amount. Then we have selenium at 50 micrograms. And this is probably the most dangerous supplement on the market. Uh, because most of the time they dose this way too high at like 250 micrograms or 500 or even one milligram, which is way, way, way too much. You know, I think 50 micrograms is like very, very safe. You could take this every day without issues. And then, you know, especially when you're taking iodine, you want to make sure to be having the selenium. Uh, the zinc is something I take pretty often too. This is 15 milligrams, pretty basic zinc glycinate. And uh, if we had to choose uh, we always chose the glycinate because glycine is a very safe chelation. It's absorbable and bioavailable. Manganese, we have it 3 milligrams. Molybdenum, we have it 100 micrograms. And then boron, we have it 2 milligrams. So just like the 
selenium, these are much lower dose than the other supplements you're gonna see on the market. We used to have them all combined in the trace minerals, but I figured people wanna take them individually, mainly because you know, molybdenum is a more typical deficiency and you don't have to take the manganese and the boron as much. But you know, not only are these hypoallergenic, minimal ingredient and correct dosage, they're also very affordable. You know, I made sure to price them at the same as you would get you know, the regular supplement, which does have a lot of downsides. They'll have like magnesium stearate or all of these additives or improper chelations. Then we have the copper here at three milligrams. Don't really use it that much. I, I was using it more when I kind of quit carnivore. And then we have our natural vitamin B complex. And this is really special again because of the dosage guys. So we dosed all of the B vitamins in this to what you would get from eating steak, basically following a carnivore diet all day. So it's, it's very, very safe to take consistently. And then each of these individual B vitamins, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, B12. You know, they're all the same dosage as the B complex except individual. So if you wanna isolate B vitamins like I do, you know, I take a lot of B1, I take a lot of B9, sometimes I'll take the other ones too. But just in case, you know, you don't wanna to have to just take a complex every day because sometimes certain foods like grains and white rice can deplete very specific B vitamins. So you might wanna use one at a time and, and see how you react. And we made sure to get the methylcobalamin form of B12 as well as the methylfolate form of B9. And most of these other ones are, are pretty, pretty generic. But you, know, you guys can go to organsupplements.com and there's a, a very detailed description of each product on the website, what it does, what it's good for, if you're deficient. And we also have you know, so many videos we've done on different vitamins, all different types of B vitamins. If you guys wanna learn more about what you should be taking, and I will be giving you guys uh, an update in these next few day of eatings on what I'm actively taking every single day. So Organ Supplements, as well as Frankie's Free Range Foods, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals, has really helped me kept the meat business going. So not only are you guys supporting me, this is really going towards, you know, eventually getting the processing plants, the dairy, all these other creative and unique products uh, to help you guys improve your health. So if you have placed an order recently or if you ordered some of the liquid vitamins in the past and you didn't really like them, you know, like sometimes the selenium is pretty, like doesn't taste that great, just send me an email. We can work out a discount or I can send you some free capsules as well. So organsupplements.com, guys, the whole website's redone. Everything's nice and organized. I mentioned earlier, we do have the frozen glands on Frankie's syringe meat. I'm trying to get more of the uh, freeze-dried powders back in. I mean, to me, the frozen glands are more bioavailable, they're better. I really prefer those myself, but some of you guys are asking for the freeze-dried powder, so I will try to get some more of those, although it's, it's been pretty difficult because of the supply chain stuff. So as always, guys, thank you for joining. Please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. So yeah, I guess one last thing to mention is guys, please give me feedback. Let me know how you like these. And of course, if there's any more products that you would like us to have, just let me know. I think I did a pretty good job of, I mean, pretty much anything I would ever want to take because hey, if you're deficient in a vitamin, we have it. If you're deficient in a mineral, we have it. No BS, mushrooms, herbs, tinctures, all types of nonsense. This is, you know, minerals and vitamins, as basic as it gets.